Hello everyone, my name is Matt Wilson. I'm an application engineer with QTE Manufacturing and I'm excited to be here today to present to you the first installment of our 10 part series of what's new in Mastercam 2024. Mastercam has always been at the forefront of cutting edge CAD CAM technology, empowering engineers, machinists and manufacturers to bring their visions to life with precision and efficiency. And now in the latest iteration, Mastercam 2024, the possibilities are more exciting than ever before. In these videos, we'll dive into the latest enhancements, innovations, and game-changing tools that Mastercam 2024 bring to the table. From enhanced toolpath strategies to improved user experience, Mastercam 2024 is designed to streamline your workflow and maximize productivity. Without further ado, we'll jump right into what's new in Mastercam 2024. So we're gonna get started with our first installment of GView Cube. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you notice when you open up 2024 is that it's gonna have a new cube in the, in the bottom left corner. In 2024, the traditional on-screen genome has been augmented with the new GView Cube, a more graphical way to, to, to show plane orientation. The GView Cube, which is relative to the WCS by default, also features many options that let you control the cube and thus the on-screen representation of your part. The cube itself has many interactive features. For example, you double click on the cube, it'll fit the part to the screen. You can click on a side, an edge, or a corner to switch to that view. And you can drag the drag part of the cube on the corners to rotate on that view. We can still set this up to follow our C plane and G plane inside of our follow rules dropdown. And there is settings to change the size and font and translucency of the cube. So I'm going to jump right into Mastercam here. So here's our Mastercam. You can see the bottom left corner. Here's our new cube. So like I said, we can click on this cube. You can click on the faces. And it will lock to those faces. So it saves the view that you left that face. So I was unzoomed. And let's say I click here. It's going to fit that. When I go back to top, it's going to be in that last view that I left it. We double click. It is going to fit it again. We can click on these edges and the corners. And we can also, if we click and hold down on an edge, it's going to rotate off of that edge. So we rotate off this corner. It's going to rotate off of that corner. Rotate off of this edge. It will just purely rotate off that edge. We did not lose our functions of our genome here. We can still drag this over and create planes. Um, we have our functions here. So if you hold your mouse over top of these, it gives you the different options you have. So here you can see you can rotate the part or if we click shift, it'll just go 90. And then if we do control click, it'll go clockwise. Control all click, it'll be counterclockwise. Same thing on these. If we click on these, it's pan. And if we alt click, it's rotate. We also have a, a nice option here relative to WCS. This was not an option in 2023. So we can go through here, right click settings. Here is our differences for sizes. So we can change the font size and we can change the cube size and we can change the opacity of it. So we'll get out of here, okay, no. And another new feature inside of 2024 is if you hold down shift and scroll, it is a much faster zoom rate. This is a new function in 2024. So here is standard and then here is holding down shift. So I know that'll help you guys out a little bit here and there. Another nice feature that they added in 2024 is the glass feature. So let's pick our whole part window it, right click, and we're going to set it to glass level one. And then inside of here, 
we can actually adjust this 0 to 100 percent inside of our configuration so we go here and we go to shading we can adjust this right here and this will give us a live representation on the screen of what it's going to show so we can turn this almost down to nothing or we can go to let's say 50 percent okay I'm just going to press no and if we window the part right click we can change our glass setting to let's say right here oh, I need to highlight the part change this to right here and we can see now it's a little bit easier to see but they fixed this from 2023 you had lots of lines and edges so this is a lot smoother in 2024 um, that's what I have to go through my video so if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to reach us out at support at qte.com, qtemfg.com, sorry. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can always call us too. Have a good one.